What's going on guys, your boy AJB.IMG here, bringing you back another quick video. I uh, just wanted to bring y'all a quick video, you feel me? Because I just took my drone out, for those of you, if you watch or follow my channel, I have a DJI Mini 4 Pro drone, and I've taken it out on probably two flights uh, so far. Uh, so far, so good, uh, but I did want to make a quick video today to let y'all know, um, just based on my experience so far, some things to look out for when you're flying a drone as a beginner. Um, so one of the things I would say that you want to look out for um, is just making sure your controls are right first, because uh, that's a little odd at first to me, making sure I have the controls right. Um, you may not, you know, uh, be somebody that, it's just like holding a video game controller, right? Like some people play Southpaw, some people play Legacy, some people play Claw. The way that you hold the controller and the way that that um, drone is going to move and the way you navigate the drone is going to be dependent on which mode that you have your settings set to. So you may not be somebody that's good for mode two or mode one. I believe there's three modes that you can choose from, um, from default. And the, the last one is just a custom one I think you create yourself. But yeah. Choose which one is going to be best for yourself because and get used to it. Um, obviously, you know, fly it like close to yourself. Don't fly it inside your house um, if you don't if you don't really know how to work it because you might fly it up into your ceiling and break your drone like I almost did. Um, so yeah, don't do that. But just mess with the settings. I would say the controller is important. Um, obviously, the other color grading and all that video stuff and how to capture it and all the cool shots like that stuff is important too. But that will come, I think, just playing with the drone more. But I'd say, yeah, uh, get the controller right first. Make sure you know how to like actually navigate the drone. You know how to raise it, lower it, um, things of that nature. Uh, so that's probably my first tip. Uh, second tip is going to be um, avoiding birds. Birds look real cool, and they are very cool. Um, but one thing you don't want to do is be flying near a whole bunch of birds. Um, I flew near a hawk yesterday, and I wanted to get a cool shot of it, but I wasn't even recording it because it was my first flight. Um, but good thing I didn't, and I'm good. A good thing that he didn't take out my drone because they can mess up your drone. They can destroy your propellers. They can probably knock your drone out of the sky. Um, and yeah, there, there goes your drone falling on the ground. You're having to send it back to DJI if you got the refresh package, and they have to send you another one. So avoid that. Avoid birds. Um, they will get territorial probably and attack your drone. I was around a whole bunch of them today actually at the pond near my house. Uh, tried to avoid them, as you can see in my flight that I uploaded, uh, because there's probably about a hundred of them. So, if one of those birds decided to attack my drone, my drone was going to go straight into the Jamaica pond, which is not going to be fun, and I'm not going to be able to get it back. So, that's probably the second thing I'd say. Um, and then, yeah, just so we've got the first point being that. You want to get your controls right. The second point being that you want to avoid flying near birds. The third point that I'd probably give is just be careful around water. Uh, because I flew my drone today, I would not suggest a beginner to go flying over water. Um, as, a, as a beginner, if you do fly relatively close to you, don't fly it so far away that you have no idea where it is. Because if you keep going, the higher you go, your wind speeds potentially could increase blowing that drone into a lot of different directions. Um, it may be difficult to get it back to you. And then if you add water over that as well, that's gonna make potentially the wind speeds even um, higher for you, depending on where you're flying, how fast you're flying, um, where the body of water is, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's probably just that last tip I would give you, just be careful when you're flying over water because it makes sure you have enough power, obviously you're monitoring that. Um, you wanna be looking at that controller like you're like flying something serious like you, you want to make sure you're understanding all the controls really how fast your drone is moving keep it in, a, in an area where you can actually see it that's probably the best tip i could give um keep it at a height before you even fly it over water you know raise it up make sure you know how to raise it up before you even start flying it just let it hover probably for like 10 15 seconds make sure that's good then raise it up you know a significant amount of altitude above that water and then start to move uh, make sure you have your controls right and then obviously move forward and up ascend as you need to um but yeah those are just some tips i would give um because you know 
can seem a little daunting with, with all the, uh, I think I'm going to try HLG mode, which is, I think, a video capture setting that you can try next time versus like D-Log or whatever. Um, but it's pretty daunting, like, you know, flying it for the first time because you don't want to crash into something. Like today, actually, I was at the pond and it, <laughs> I clicked return to home and it literally was about to fly back to my house, which is like three miles away. So I had to stop it from flying to my house and look at it in the sky and then actually physically manually land it. So, and it was like, I was about to land on some cars, <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah. So just be careful, man. When you're, uh, when you're messing around with the drone, when you're flying, I'd probably have to go change that return to home setting. I'm still tweaking with that too, but that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys uh, like and enjoy the video. Uh, again, you'll see more car content as well as drone content on here. I like fast cars. I like drones and photography and traveling. So, you get more of that content on here. Get it? Got it? Good. Peace.